All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another video tour. I'm back at it again, up here in the mass plan community of Sum Summerlin, Las Vegas, Nevada. I am in a neighborhood called Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. And right here, what we have is a, a two car garage. Now this is the Sierra model. This is a two story, 2,395 square feet. You do have an option from a four bedroom to a five bedroom or you could actually make it a loft or a suite, but I'm gonna show you how the, all that works. You also have an option for a two and a half bath all the way to a four and a half bath, covered patio, bonus room, and you got four different elevations to pick from. The elevation A, the starting price on here, which is the base price, $511,990. So let's go inside, let's take a look. Let's see what this property has to offer. I know there's a lot a loud noise i do apologize so you have a nice beautiful courtyard here i love that railing right here i definitely would put another probably like a door here or something like that or think about this what do you think about an iron rod that goes all the way here all the way here all the way over here with a door doorbell here and a camera out there so now you have this additional courtyard privacy and i love that chair right there it's really cool so let's go inside let's take a look see what this thing is all about so it looks like property does come with a rekey which is great now as we enter the foyer right i'm gonna just pan up nice and open bring you back down here you got 12 by 24 on the tile coming out coming into the open floor plan Love those uh, blue cabinets there, really nice. Let's take a look at this. We have quartz. Again, they use the uh, Blanca sink on this one. Definitely a upgrade. You got that brushed nickel, it's like that bronze look. You do got the blue cabinets on both sides. On this one, just did some standard cabinets, which makes sense. Now on this island right here, you do have an option to build this out to do a full sleeve. And I think you can also do a waterfall on this one too as well. Now as you can see, this island is not that huge. And the reason why is you can take a look by the uh, two pendant lightings here, okay? We have the 42 upper cabinets. We do have LED lights underneath, but they're not the LED strips. you can see the light right see like this this would drive me nuts see these are things that you really got to take a look at I'd actually have them fix that if I bought a home from them during the additional or the final walk right here's your two car garage six panel doors and upgrade you can actually do the eight panel I mean uh, eight foot doors if you choose to backsplashes and an upgrade you do have that little pantry with that window uh, that's definitely going to be an upgrade. GE appliances. Typically, you get the 30-inch cooked countertop. This one is a upgrade, a slide-in stove. If you're going to get that contemporary look, that modern look, you're going to do the cooked countertop. These are all gas. Now, let's take a look at their microwave. Is it exhausted out? Yes, this is exhausted out. Now, some builders like Richmond, which is they start nickel and diamond yet, which is the stupidest thing ever, is that just to run that exhaust, they consider that as a structural upgrade and they charge you for that. I'm like, come on now, guys. That's some BS right there, right? But, I mean, it is what it is. These are things that you just gotta be aware of. That's why you price everything out on the base price and you see exactly what you get. And uh, you just kinda figure it out from there. What I do like about this model here is that the master bedroom is downstairs. What do you guys think about this property so far? I love how they color block this right here. Uh, builders do give you that two-tone paint too as well. So on this one, you got that skip trawl with the bull nose half inch, but it looks like on this one, you have a six inch baseboard, standards of three inch baseboards. Now, I know it's on the tile in here, right? These are 12 by 24 tile. Now, typically a designer, when they run the tile, especially like this, you run it the same way as the countertops. This way, I don't know why they ran it this way. I'm not too sure, but it looks like a cluster jam. I would have probably ran it this way because as you are entering in the home, it, it's inviting and it flows you right into the home. Let me know in the comments below. 
I want to hear what your thoughts are. Now let's go take a look at the master here. I'm not even going to go inside that little closet here. Ooh, love the master. Love that dark blue look right there and the casings around the window frames, which is really nice. You got the plank wood floors, which is really nice. They, I believe they are vinyl on that one. You got that structural option right there as far as the upgrades on the door. You know what? I'm going to come out on this side. Cover patio. That's an upgrade, folks. They did the uh, built... Believe it or not, these built-in grills, okay, are very expensive. Okay, so now let's take a look here. Cover patio. So I don't know why they did the drywall here, which was... This doesn't make any sense. You do the drywall here, and then you did the skip trial texture, right? Typically, what builders will do is do the concrete stucco. But because they did it like this, I mean, look at this. It just expands and contracts all the way through. You see that? You see what I'm talking about? And because it gets so hot, wait till the summertime. All that tape is going to end up peeling right off. I don't know why they did that. I would have said, hey, you know what? Just do the concrete stucco throughout the whole thing. So that way you can avoid that problem. You got that balcony right there. And that's an upgrade, folks. That's right. Now, you're probably going to wonder why is that wall. There's no wall here. The reason why they do that is so that way it kind of gives you the appearance. Everything is all open. Remember, these designers are very good at what they do. Standard walls, six feet high. It's requ required by cold. Okay. That's a total of nine blocks. The house has to be at least five feet away, according to code. Anything that you built, like let's just say a covered patio. If you're going to build a covered patio, you can only build it up to about five feet away from the wall to meet code. Okay? One thing you should always uh, take a look underneath here. Underneath the stucco, we got this metal rail here. It's called like a stucco creed or um, uh, something screen sweep, sweep, whatever. Let me know. You guys are builders out there. Let me know. You guys are contractors. Let me know. I forget the name of it. I always call it stucco screed or something screen, screep, whatever. I forget. Anyway, make sure those are not um, clogged. The reason why is because this right here is very porous. It will suck in the water behind this concrete. It will leak all the way down. And then those holes right there will drain on out. So looking at this, the way this AC unit is, this is the primary. Right above here is actually the secondary. If that starts leaking, then that means your primary pan is probably clogged. Now, if it keeps dripping for some time, you start to see rust that means your drain pan is probably rusted out you need to change that right away like asap let's go back inside here love the uh, pavers decent size master hoas are i think 117 a month there are SIDS and LIDS, it's about $1,000 a year. Balance is roughly about $14,000, I believe. Okay. So it looks like we also have a return line right here, which is really great. Now, the bathroom configurations, you can do the oval tub or the uh, square tub, or you can do this spa-like shower. Now, with the spa-like shower, they did a fiberglass drain pan, which... I don't know. I do not like it whatsoever. Okay. It does not make any sense. So a lot of times you're going to see this, right? This actually leaks and actually drains out underneath. Sometimes the water gets behind that. Okay. Now, and typically with the builders, what they do is when they add this, they're going to put the hardy back and seal all of this. So if you see cracks like this, and the reason why you have cracks like this is because 
the home is starting to settle. Now keep in mind, it's gonna take two years for a home to completely settle. The good news is that this is a post-tension slab, right? So when it shifts, it all shifts together because the way the soil is out here, and this is the reason why we do a soil report, to make sure that you can actually build something like this on here. Now, if there's a dispute because um, foundation has cracked, now you're trying to sue them because you don't have enough money to sue them, a lot of these builders, their pockets are so deep, there's actually a settlement fund that you guys can actually go through, okay? If you guys are having that problem, let me know who the builder is, I'll point you guys in the right direction, okay? I would have made this all glass right here. Kind of get it more open. Now let's take a look at the... Okay. These are standard shelves. Now, if you want a custom closet, you can do definitely do a custom closet. I would highly recommend that you contact my girl Pat with Closets Las Vegas. She is a designer. Now I did a video uh, with that company, right? Of all the type of designs and if you guys haven't had a chance to watch that video, go back. It's a couple videos back. I think you guys need to watch it if you're going to do a custom closet. If you're going to do a custom closet, make sure to get with the a designer before you go to the design studio with the builder so that way you can run your electrical and you know exactly where you're going to where you want to run your electrical, okay? Here's your water closet. Now let's go upstairs. Now there are incentives with this builder if you use their lender. They're giving you up to 2% towards closing costs. Did you see how, or did you hear what I said? Up to, you have a 12 foot slide, which is really nice here, okay? And these are stackable. All right, let's go back here. Six, six panel doors and upgrade. They're, they are not insulated. This is just some closet. Now, let me just show you the texture here. Love that texture. Going to the bathroom. Typically, you'll get the pedestal sink and just the toilet. Now, let's go upstairs. Now, this railing right here. That would be an upgrade also that the chandelier. So you got the industrial carpet. You got four or five stairs before you hit a landing. Then you're coming back up another six stairs before you hit a landing. And you come up to the loft area. The other thing that you could do here is have a pony wall. Now, typically for something like this, people end up doing a pony wall because they end up putting furniture here. Now, if you don't, if you don't mind that, that's fine. But what happens is when people walk in, they can see the back of your furniture. But this makes sense because they're making this as a game room. Now this is a loft. This loft can be configured into a fifth bedroom if you wanted to. You have a nice 10 foot slide. The sun is gonna be beating on this side a lot, okay? A lot of your wear and tear is gonna be on this side. Now, see this? This is not your best brand of slides. I mean, look how wobbly this thing is. I don't, personally, I don't like it. But you pay what you get for, you get what you pay for, whatever that saying is, all right? It's starting to get hot here in Vegas. Let's come back in. You got the beautiful built-ins here. You got that nine foot ceilings, six, eight on the door. Let's take a look at this here. So this is a suite, which is really nice. Queen size bed. Wow, look at this tile. I mean, this is very cool. However, when you go to sell it, you're gonna run into some problems. Unless you're gonna live in this home forever, then you're okay. You have the tub, shower combo, and I love this. Uh, that was pretty cool. So the vanity is very low on here, okay? Remember, you always want to get a 36 for a resale right off the get-go. Doesn't matter if your kids are short. Just give them a little, you know, step stool for now. 
I mean, eventually they're going to grow up. So in this room right here, they got a um, return grill here, which is great. Not a grill, but um, transfer duct, which is perfect. Another bedroom. Let me know if you guys are down to ride with me. I don't know if you guys got that or not. Let me know in the comments below if you got that. Standard bedroom, nothing like fancy about this one. Damn, man, look at this rocker switch. Why is that all crooked? I'll be like this. Just move it. Now, these, these right here, they're not going to be flush, so sometimes you just got to, like, move it because of the drywall. Turn on. Okay. So you got your extra storage here. The 30 inch cabinets, or well, 36 inch cabinets here is a upgrade. Also the sink too as well. Washer and dryer not included, but you can always negotiate it. Now, this market is so freaking crazy right now. It's unbelievable. 36 inch panel, let's take a look here. This one's actually open. So now, what's great about this builder, you got this uh, line for the, uh, fiber optics once they finally comes to the main road you can pull that in here's another bedroom Kind of cool. I love that window right there. Let's see what else we got here. Got the bath. Upgraded on the sink. Got an option to do a tub shower combo. They did the straight up walk and shower. So it's a three quarter bathroom. Now you do have an option to do a four and a half bath too as well because what happens is if you turn this into a bedroom this becomes a suite so keep that in mind okay all right guys about to finish this video y'all know what to do if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet uh, maybe now is the time to subscribe to the channel don't forget to visit lvhomeexperts.com also we definitely love the opportunity to earn your business one of the uh, services that we do provide for our clients, especially out of state. You can literally buy a home from out of state. We do full video tours for our clients. We also go to the design studio. We do the videos for that too as well. We also help spec clients homes out too as well. So that way we can maximize the potential of the resale. All right, guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Other than that, have a blessed day, folks.